God says, this world is filled with sadness, pain, and hurt. But, it is also filled with joy, wonders, and beauty. Turn most of your attention to the goodness that this world has to offer. And use the pain of this world to your benefit. Allow it to help you grow. I love you. Amen if you believe in God. Dear God, in the quiet moments of this day, I purposefully place you first in my heart and life. Grant me the strength to seek your will above all else, and may my thoughts, words, and actions be aligned with your divine purpose. May my day be a reflection of your love, grace, and the priority you hold in my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Heavenly Father, as we come to you in prayer this Sunday morning, I want to pray for everyone who reads this. I ask for your abundant blessings on them. I pray that you would comfort those who are alone and hurting today, and let them feel your love. Heal those who are in need of a physical healing, fill them with hope and give them peace. I ask that you give strength to all your people around the world. And I ask for your financial, physical, and spiritual blessings on all with a need. May your perfect will be done in all of our lives today, as the Holy Spirit continues to lead our way. In Jesus' name we do pray, Amen. Dear Lord, life is brief, and none of us are promised tomorrow. Forgive me for the times I've taken my blessings for granted. Help me to make the most of my days and appreciate all I've been given. I don't want to have regrets because I put things off thinking there will always be another day. Help me to live and love well, and many people see you in me. Help me be the person you want me to be. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I correct and discipline everyone I love. So be diligent and turn from your indifference. Look. I stand at the door and knock. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in, and we will share a meal together as friends. Those who are victorious will sit with me on my throne, just as I was, victorious and sat with my Father on his throne. Revelation 3 verses 19 to 21 Father God, who am I to deserve being known by you? You daily give me access to your perfect presence. And through your Holy Spirit, you shape who I am. Please increase my knowledge of you. Deepen my love for you and my understanding of what pleases you. Keep me blameless as I await Jesus' return. In Jesus' name, Amen. Philippians for verse 8. Finally, Brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy think about such things. Comment Amen. God is saying to you today, I saw you working hard raising those children and making sacrifices. I saw you taking the treatment, keeping a good attitude, praising me when it wasn't improving. Don't worry, the answers are coming. I am going to restore the years that you've lost. An unbelievable and unexplainable blessing is coming your way. Don't give up. Then the Lord turned to him and said, Go with the strength you have and rescue Israel from the Midianites. I am sending you. But Lord, Gideon replied, 
How can I rescue Israel? My clan is the weakest in the whole tribe of Manasseh, and I am the least in my entire family. The Lord said to him, I will be with you. And you will destroy the Midianites as if you were fighting 1966 against one man. Judges 6 verses 14 to 16. Hebrews for verse 16. With Jesus as our high priest, we can feel free to come before God's throne where there is grace. There we receive mercy and kindness to help us when we need it. But the Lord says, Now I will stand up. Now I will show my power and might. Those who are honest and fair, who refuse to profit by fraud, who stay far away from bribes, who refuse to listen to those who plot murder, who shut their eyes to all temptation to do wrong, Isaiah 33 verses 10 and 15. You are transitioning into a new thing. New doors are opening, new spaces and places are coming, divine appointments and strategic connections are being arranged in the name of Jesus. We are not given a good or bad life. We are given a life. It is up to you to make it good or bad. Deuteronomy 30 verse 19 God, thank you for being the ultimate example of holiness. You have called me and set me apart. Teach me how to reflect your holiness to those around me. I want to be more like you. Mold my heart and grow my character. Amen. Strong people suffer alone at night, smile during the day, tell their friends only half, and their parents nothing. So they don't worry about them. Psalm 34 verse 18. Remaining still and allowing God to direct your steps is the best course of action. You find peace amid chaos in life when you allow him to lead. Place your faith in his discernment. He is aware of what is best for you. Clarity, strength, and peace come from yielding to God's plan. People think Christians are slaves to rules, but the true slavery is sin. Living for Jesus is a privilege, a freedom like no other. Romans 6 verses 16 to 18. Hebrews for verse 16. Let us have confidence, then, and approach God's throne, where there is grace. There we will receive mercy and find grace to help us just when we need it. Amen, Tilder, if you believe it. If God answers your prayer, he's increasing your faith. If he delays, he's increasing your patience. If he doesn't answer your prayer, he's preparing the best for you. Amen, if you believe. God said, Do not cling to events of the past or dwell on what happened long ago. For I am about to do something new. See, I have already begun. Do you not see it? I will make a pathway through the wilderness. I will create rivers in the dry wasteland. Isaiah 43 verses 18 to 19 GNT NLT If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14 For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, to bring you to God. 1 Peter 3 verse 18 as a gentle reminder, let's anchor ourselves in faith during turbulent times. 
Embrace the belief that despite challenges, we can transition from feeling like victims to becoming victors. Trust in God's plan, knowing that brighter days lie ahead. I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. But take heart, I have overcome the world. John 16 verse 33 God allows difficulties in your life not to break you, but to mold you into a stronger individual. Trust that these struggles have a purpose, sculpting you into the person you are destined to become. Embracing the lessons within hardships, for God, is crafting resilience and wisdom within you. Respond with love, don't repay evil for evil. Don't retaliate with insults when people insult you. Instead, pay them back with a blessing. That is what God has called you to do, and he will grant you his blessing. 1 Peter 3 9 Jeremiah 29 verse 11 That dream was planted in your heart for a reason. Chase it. Trust God that he will guide you to achieve greatness in your life. If the devil can't take you out, he will try to wear you out. Stop obsessing. Stop ruminating. Stop scheming. Stop rehashing. Stop analyzing. Stop worrying. Give it to God and rest. Since God never slumbers nor sleeps, there's no use of you staying awake worrying.